What is up guys, it's the BYT here, back with another video on my wrestling channel with a huge subscriber increase, just like the economy right now, it's skyrocketing, it's doing great, it's heating, it's surging, just like the stock market because of the cutting of regulations by Donald Trump, who has done a solid job so far as our president. Um, and also, before I get into this No Way Out 2001 review, I want to give a shout out to my friend Nathaniel, currently on YouTube as IVS, capital I, capital V, capital S. He makes gaming videos, he makes different types of videos, some videos with his brother. Um, check him out. Um, so yeah, link will be in the description. Now this video is going to be about No Way Out 2001, one of my favorite WWF pay-per-view is one of my favorite pay-per-views by WWE of all time. Just a great show. Um, if I told you, if somebody told me, hey, you know, what pay-per-view should I go back and watch, you know, just to have fun, I would go, this would be one of the ones I chose. Choose No Way Out 2001. It would be right on top of my head. It was just a great show. A lot of good matches. Even the women's match with Stephanie and Trish, a great women's match. Um, the main events all delivered. Um, you had a fun opener, um, good fun tag match, there was only one bad match on here, and it wasn't, you know, who cares, you know, it really wasn't, you know, uh, supposed to be, an, it wasn't an important part of the show, um, probably the least important match on the show, um, and I'm also thinking about doing a series on this channel, a Trump administration review, once a month, so every month I will be reviewing the Trump administration, um, this video will be definitely in February 26th, 27th, or 28th, because I gotta make it. I gotta make a video for February. Um, so yeah, that will be a series on my channel. I, think I calculated how many months if he does go in eight years, uh, two terms. Um, it would be 95 months, and if he only goes uh, four terms, it'd be 11 plus you know 12 which would be 23 plus another 12 which would be 35 plus another 12 would be 47 so 47 months um, or if he gets impeached <laughs> which he he might um, you know I would put my money on it but um because of these just it's not from anything he's doing it's just that um, the country is so politically correct and they're so worried about our image and uh, they're so worried about what Donald Trump says. I mean, it's just take a chill pill. Oh, Donald Trump wants to be friends with Russia? <laughs> what? He wants to be friends with Russia? You know, you know the second most, uh, the, the like the second most uh, important country to be friends with. Oh, he wants to be friends with Russia. What? You know, we could trade back and forth. No, that's a bad thing. You know, he's a dictator. No. You know, we don't care about the economic benefits. We don't care about anything. He's a dictator. He's a bad man. Bad, evil communist. You know, we... I don't know. Nobody calling him communist, but he's a dictator. But, um... Big Show, I'm not really... I don't really know anything about Putin that much, but uh, I just know that the the media portrays... They, they create this mass hysteria like he's just a horrible man or something. Like he's just terrible as... Like, it's bad as Fidel Castro, but uh, just because Donald Trump wants to be friends with him. But if Barack Obama wants to be friends with him, that's okay. You know, that's okay. Uh, Big Show defeats Raven in the opening match uh, for the Hardcore Championship. This was a fun match. It only lasted, like, five minutes. Uh, it really wasn't a match, actually. You know, it just started off with... Uh, Raven attacking Big Show from behind. Wait, no, no, no. Some guy, right when Big Show was coming out, some girl attacked Big Show from behind for some reason. Big Show just beats beats her up. I think it was like a somebody dressed up as a girl. It might have been Crash Holly or something. Um, this match is pretty much just hitting each other with weapons. It was fun. Like a bunch of guys came out. Billy, Billy Gunn, Steve, uh, Crash Holly, Hardcore Holly. A lot of hardcore guys came out, and Steve Blackman, I think, came out. And Big Show just beat the shit out of all of them and, you know, won the hardcore championship. Raven came in the champion, lost. I'll give this match an N.A. Um, just because it really wasn't a match. It was just fun. You know, it was a fun opener and fun attitude air opener. Um, Chris Jericho defeated Eddie Guerrero, X-Pac, and Chris Benoit for the Intercontinental Championship. This was a fun match. I really enjoyed this match. Um, 
very good fatal four way. Um, you would expect a really good fatal four way from these four guys. Just fast pace, great wrestling in the match. Just so many fun moves. Um, Chris Jericho won with like a roll up on uh, X Pac, I think. And uh, it was a good, you know, it was a fun and cool ending. Uh, four stars, very good match. Uh, Stephanie McMahon defeated Trish. Um, I kind of wish Trish won here because I'm just such a big fan of hers, but <laughs> and I, I don't like Stephanie really. But um, this was just such an intense brawl between these two women. I really enjoyed the storyline with Vince McMahon and Linda McMahon. It was just you know a classic uh, Attitude Era storyline that I was a fan of. It was when I was a kid. I used to watch this match um, all the time. I just thought it was a fun match. Um, uh, Stephanie won when Regal came out. Kind of confusing. We don't know like who he was going back and forth on who do you know to win uh, to pick who to win because uh, he put Stephanie's foot on the rope and I think he put Trish's foot on the rope or something. And then he just Trish just slapped him in the face and he just ended up doing like a neck breaker on Trish and Stephanie got the win. Three stars. Uh. Good, very good women's match. Uh, Triple H defeated Stone Cold in the three stages of hell match. A lot of people... Uh, I probably underrated this match, according to most people. Um, I watched it a couple times, actually, um, over the years. And I don't know if it was... Like, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm just underrating it just because as a kid I used to watch this match and I thought it was too long. Like, I'm not a big fan of, like, really long matches that go for, like, 50 minutes. Um, but, uh, I don't know, I just never really was a big fan. The Rumble match, that's an exception, but, you know, I'm just not a big fan of, like, Iron Man matches and, you know, three stages of hell matches. I don't know why. I like didn't really like the singles match to open it up, but you know I really enjoyed the cage match. I enjoyed the the Noel's Barn match. Um, I liked the ending too, where they both hit each other with a weapon, and then Triple H ended up falling on Austin. It was a good way to protect Austin, who won the first fall and lost the next two. Um, Triple H gets the win, four stars. I think he need to look strong, you know, because he's gonna face Undertaker WrestleMania. Four stars, very good. Better than the Fatal 4-Way, even though they're ranked the same. Stevie Richards defeated Jerry Lawler. This is the worst match of the night. This is the stinker of the night. But uh, it's still, it wasn't that bad. You know, it was only like six minutes. Um, it was This whole storyline was weird. They were trying to censor the cat, and Jerry Lawler was um, trying to get her, you know, to get her back to her ex exposing her body ways, I guess. <laughs> It was just this really stupid storyline. But um, Stevie Richards got the win, and they captured uh, the cat or whatever. They, I don't know, like one and a half stars. Not very good. Dudley Boys defeat Undertaker and Kane and Edge and Christian in a tables match for the WWF Tag Team Titles. Um, this was pretty good, you know. Very enjoyable match. But uh, I wish it would have been, I think it could have been better kind of weird seeing Undertaker and Kane in like the tag team picture but uh it was still was fun uh just it was just a brawl you know bra brawling on the ramp brawling near the pyro brawling in the ring brawling outside of the ring next to the ring um it was just one of those attitude air, classic attitude air brawls with weapons it was fun um Dudley boys got the win I don't really remember how they won though three and a quarter I think uh, Rikishi and Haku came down in this match, and I think they started beating up Undertaker and Kane, which is weird. Uh, three and a quarter. The Rock defeated Kurt Angle for, for the WWF Championship. Very good match. Great match. Um, again, Kurt Angle, if I can put together, you know, matches rate, ranked by... I mean, matches by any wrestler, Kurt Angle's would probably be the best star-rated out of all of them on average. Because Kurt Angle has had so many good matches. That's why I'm such a big fan of him. He's his character. He's just so funny. Top three favorites of all time. Rock, Austin, Kurt Angle. Those are my top three. Um, and Lesnar probably fourth. But um, just an amazing wrestler. And just the match was very good. 
just so fast and, you know, good psychology um, by both wrestlers, selling moves. They told a really good story in this match. Uh, the Rock ended up winning, and Kurt Angle actually held that title for a long time. He held that title from mid-2000 to February of 01, and The Rock only held it for a month, losing it to Austin at WrestleMania 17. But uh, The Rock got the win here, four and a quarter, very good match. Pay-per-view gets an 8.75 out of 10. Very good pay-per-view, and um, see you guys later. Peace out.